Well, it's been about two months since we've installed these Alpha Rex Lux series on the Forerunner, so I guess it's time to update you guys. Long story short, they've been awesome. The only, only, only complaint that I have is sometimes this DRL feature, because it's so bright in this Florida sun out here, sometimes you can't really tell that it's on if you have it in just the parking mode or DRL mode. It's hard to really see it on when you're behind another car. However, the low beams themselves have been absolutely bright. The projection towards the side is awesome, but these lights have been nothing but awesome on the vehicle. I do enjoy the dark blacked out features that it has. The last fit switchbacks that I have on it as well have not hyper blinked or anything like that. So everything has worked OEM. The whole startup the whole startup feature and everything with it, nothing has glitched at all with these things. They've been absolutely perfect. So if you're looking for a very quick update, there it is. But some news about why I'm taking off my bumper again. Also, there's been no condensation buildup at all. All the lenses and everything are nice. Any of those water spots you see is just because my car is dirty. But the lights themselves have been awesome. Alpharex sent me their Pro Series. So the cool thing that I like about this company, guys, is that they have multiple levels you can do. These ones right here are more of the mid-grade option. These ones right here are their entry-level ones. So these, the Pro Series, they started at about the mid-400s. These dudes are about the mid-700s. And then you have their Nova Series that is in to the thousands, which is very, very, very expensive. But the cool thing that I like about these Pro Series is that you can put your own LED bulbs in it. It does come with halogens. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm only installing one of these, right? I don't wanna install both because I want to run it side by side with the Forerunner. So I'm gonna put it on the passenger side and then I will just see how it is with night driving, the startup features, all that. If it, uh, I don't think it does do the startup features, but the DRL, see if the quality is up to par as the actual Lux series is. Then I'm gonna take my bumper off again because unfortunately you can't really exchange the bulbs out on this one that well. But I'm gonna take my bumper out again. I bought some $50 little LEDs on Amazon. I'm gonna put it in and then run it again at night and do some driving and see how they pair up. Then I'm gonna take <laughs> then I'm gonna take the bumper off again and reinstall these dudes because these right here is the 20,000 subscriber giveaway. So 20,000 subs, whenever it hits, that will be the giveaway plus the LED lights, of course. So I'm not trying to like run these on my vehicle forever. It'll probably only be three to five days depending on when I can get footage and then take them off the vehicle, box them all back up, make it all nice and clean, and wait for the 20,000 subs that we can hit. That's the update, guys, on the Alpha Rex headlights. They've been incredible. Like I said, no condensation. The light output has been great. No flickering, no nothing crazy at all. They have been very, very awesome. So if you guys are new around here, please consider subscribing. Returning subscribers, as always, I appreciate your guys' support, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, see you later.